You don't make friends with salad, so you make friends with steak. Come to me! Yeah, come <laughs> <laughs> now we know who's the favourite. Kia ora Anna, kia ora. we're in the beautiful home and kitchen of Aaron and Heather Freeman. Thank you very much for having us guys. And of course we are in Palmy. These two, proud to be from Palmy. I have no idea how to cook, so I'm looking forward to learning from these two. We ready? Yep. All ready, bro. Wow. Wow. That's my trade reactions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that I like cooking so much as I like eating, which is where my love of cooking came from, I guess. I don't care if it's a can of corned beef and coconut cream, I eat all of it, man. I'm not fussy. You are fussy. Uh, yeah, do yeah, fussy. Depends. Only when someone else is cooking. <laughs> Two guys, go hard. So I decided I'd like to give cooking a crack because mum was a chef and I was sort of rating the things that I was starting to put together. Mm. So that was what the intent behind my kitchen rules was, was just to sort of get some immediate feedback as to whether we're dreaming or whether we deserve to be doing this. I never would have gone on the show if I hadn't have believed that Aaron was good enough. I knew that he was good enough to get to get us you know, as far as he needed to go. Looking at the opportunities though that have come out of it, I mean obviously you've, you've got to have your own business and stuff. Did, did you have business experience going into it? Or was you're learning as you go. Should I do this with the mango? I had no real experience in owning our own businesses. I'd worked in, in friends' food trucks, I'd worked in restaurants, uh, so I'd done the most I could just to get some experience behind me in the meantime. I've also learnt, much like anyone that's passionate about anything that they do in terms of a trade, you can always be better. Um, and there's always something else you can learn. Alright, so a little update on what we're, what's happening here. Oh, you're a bit flash. Yeah. I'm just chopping up everything that I was given. Is this how you guys actually cook? What Aaron taught me was what, what he's been taught. Um, the most important thing about cooking is prep. I thought it would be tasting. It would be like that's, the end result. That's the funnest part. Oh, the most important thing. Cooking is prep. Oh, yes, important yes, yes. The thing about eating is <laughs> what it tastes like. <laughs> We're really terrible at celebrating ourselves or saying that we're particularly good at something and food is another example of where we're probably the worst at it. So we're happy to sell raw fish at the Avondale markets for $5 a punnet but we don't look at it beyond that. I've gotten to a place where I've been able to put essentially a raw fish dish but into a three hat restaurant in Auckland and it was a $37 entree. Like many New Zealand born Polynesians, um, I, you know, I suffered a bit of an identity crisis coming through my adolescence because uh, people were always like, Kia ora bro, and I'm like, no, mm, not Māori. <laughs> but then you'd go and uh, hang out with everybody else and they'd be like, oh, well, what are you? You know, so because Palmy isn't very, back then it wasn't a very strong Pacifica community, especially with Cook Islanders. Um, I had more Tongan and Samoan and Māori friends than I did uh, Cook Island friends, so for a while I was a combination of all those races and it took me <laughs> probably until I got to 20 to realise oh actually it's okay for me to just be a Cook Islander on my own. Yeah. Um, so I think it's one of the common ones that I share with a, a lot of the guys that I grew up with actually. The struggle made everything easier I guess. Uh, what well, it was definitely a struggle but it was one worth going through uh, to, to get those answers because now I'm really comfortable in my own skin and it doesn't matter if I'm in a different country that doesn't speak English or my own language, I'm quite proud of who I am, I know where I'm from and I know how to express that. Yeah. <laughs> Heather and I appear all over the country now presenting, demonstrating, speaking, cooking, um, stuff that I never could have imagined just by being on a dinky old reality TV show. Guys, we hope you enjoyed Aaron and Heather's story. Here's some great things that we took away from their awesome cooking journey so far. So that was what the intent behind my kitchen rules was, was just to sort of 
get some immediate feedback as to whether we're dreaming or whether we deserve to be doing this. You know? If you think that you might have a skill that could take you places, then give yourself a push. Test yourself out. How about getting feedback from someone in the know? Aaron got it by going on MKR. But for you, this might be finding out if you've got what it takes to become, say, a vet, or getting honest feedback from a sports coach. Being from the islands, Aaron had to overcome a bit of an identity crisis when he was younger. I had more Tongan and Samoan and Māori friends than I did uh, Cook Island friends, so for a while I was a combination of all those races. Accepting and being proud of his Cook Islands heritage has opened many doors for him. Be proud and confident of who you are and where you come from. And if you don't know, why not start by learning about your culture today? There's always something else you can learn which will help you be better at whatever it is you are doing or want to do in the future. I've worked in, in friends' food trucks, I've worked in restaurants, uh, so I've done the most I could just to get some experience behind me in the meantime. Aaron is a firm believer in learning more by gaining experience. It will help you decide if that career or job is right for you. So say yes to every opportunity that comes your way and see what happens. A huge thank you to Heather and Aaron for sharing your extraordinary story. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out more extraordinary Kiwi stories.